The reports and images of children being separated at the U.S.-Mexico border from their parents and being held behind bars are pretty much everywhere. And you'd have to be pretty cold to not feel even a little moved by this. However, it seems like many of the politicians, commentators, and journalists who are crying outrage right now were completely quiet during the very nefarious practices towards undocumented children of the previous administration. So, how does Obama's treatment of undocumented children compare to Trump's? First, a bit of context. Separation of children from their parents after being arrested is not a matter of legislative policy. It was a court ruling referred to as the Flores Settlement that said children cannot be in custody with their parents. In fact, the Obama administration tried to keep families together while they were being processed for deportation, but the courts intervened, calling the practice illegal. So to be clear, family separation is not policy from the Democrats or the Republicans. There are basically two reasons that we saw a dramatic increase in family separations recently. The first is Trump's new zero tolerance policy that treats anyone coming into the US outside of a port of entry as a criminal offender. And the second is the new guidelines for actually being able to request asylum. Here's where the Trump-Obama comparison comes into play. First of all, how many kids were being kept under each administration? Currently, it's believed that it's about 10,500 kids that are being kept in detention centers, while between 2013 and 2014, there were over 25,000 children kept. Some will rightly point out that this could be largely due to the number of unaccompanied minors who entered the US during that time, and it's true that during the Obama administration, there was a radical increase in the amount of kids entering the US unaccompanied. But this leaves out two pieces of context. One is to what degree was family separation responsible for these numbers? The simple answer is that we don't really know because data about family separation during the Obama administration was not kept. That being said, if you consider that the courts intervened to disallow the Obama administration from keeping families together, then you have to assume that it contributed at least marginally to the numbers. The Daily Wire's Michael Knowles claims that there were over 100,000 cases of family separation during the Obama administration, though I haven't seen the source or the justification for those numbers. The second piece of context is how these children are being treated while in detention. And here is where the comparison gets really important. Now, to be clear, I think that Trump went about this issue all wrong and that the wrongful implementation of his zero tolerance policy had some inexcusable consequences. And we'll have to wait and see how his executive order addresses this. However, news outlets that tend to paint Trump in a really negative light, such as NPR, CNN, The New York Times, and even Vox, have acknowledged that these kids are being kept in relatively good conditions, or at least as good as can be kept behind bars. Under Obama, on the other hand, the conditions in which children were kept were careless and criminal. A report released by the American Civil Liberties Union, or ACLU, shows a routine violation of undocumented children's rights. The report itself uses words like neglectful and sadistic to describe the treatment of these children. Incidents of abuse include the routine beating of young boys, using nightsticks to hit children in the knees, using loaded weapons to intimidate the children, forcibly touching young girls' genitals, and forcing children to strip down into their underwear and put in cold cells referred to as ice boxes, among several other practices. Remember, all of this took place between 2009 and 2014. So from the time Obama first became president, well into his second term. Now, it's not even clear if Obama was aware of this at all. And of course, I'm not saying that Obama's faults somehow vindicate Trump, because that's not the argument I'm making at all. What should be asked, though, is where was this outrage back then? Traditional media outlets right now are covering the issue as if it were the most important human rights issue of the moment, drawing comparisons to Japanese internment and even Nazism. However, it's the same outlets that let us know nothing about the egregious acts against young undocumented people under the Obama administration. And these same journalists and commentators have stayed mostly quiet about the report that was released by the ACLU last month. And of course the failings of previous administrations don't morally vindicate the actions of future administrations, but the selective outrage in this case is palpable. 
For Front and Center and The Unshackled, I'm Emilio Garcia. Thanks for watching.